Okay, here we go again on a windy day to go get some goldfish so my lionfish can eat. Shut up. So, haven't ridden the bike in a couple of days. Actually, maybe about a couple of weeks. So, hopefully it'll fire right up and we can be on our way to Petco or PetSmart, whatever, and get some goldfish. Okay, ignition key right here. Okay. Okay, baby, start up. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Okay, face shield down. And we're gonna go ahead and head out. Nice sunny day. And let's see, adjust my mirrors. Yeah, they look okay. And away we go. Downshift. I was uh, coming down the street a couple weeks ago and somebody pulled out right here and almost nailed me. I mean, you know, no other cars around, clear view and he just, or she actually, just, uh, just barreled right through the, the intersection, didn't even look, nothing, and just made me slam on my brakes and clear. Gas is kind of climbing up. It's 325 a gallon here now. You gotta love that sound, huh? Oh, okay. So actually this uh, ION Air Pro 2 helmet cam was a pretty good investment. I mean, the other ones, the one I was going to get was going to be a GoPro 3 Black Edition, which was like $400. And uh, this one here was only $250. And it does the same things that the ION I mean that the uh, GoPro does plus this one is waterproof without having to add a uh, an external waterproof case to the camera and uh, I like the clarity better it, um, it seems a lot clearer than the GoPro so Anyways, not that you care, but hell, you know, save 150 bucks, it's, you know, 150 bucks is 150 bucks.
back in first gear. So this is the last day of February and I am not working today so I have a free day off. It's going to be a three day weekend. Here in the sun city of El Paso, Texas, fun capital of the world where the City pastime is watching tumbleweeds blow across the road. It's pretty windy. I'm sure that the uh, external microphone, even though it's inside my helmet, is picking up some wind noise. So I'm going to have to find some kind of a, a uh, muffle device for the front of the shit. See, like a good boy, I stop for the light. I could have ran it, but <clears throat> anyways, what was I saying? Oh yeah, the microphone. You get a little bit of that <clears throat> that wind noise that hits the front of it. So I'm going to have to get like a, oh, it's a wind sock. And so you can see from the flags there how windy it is which can create a problem sometimes if you're on a motorcycle the wind can you know kind of blow you around a little bit and here in El Paso it gets dusty uh, when the wind really kicks up and man it can just limit your visibility down to you know a few feet sometimes when it gets really bad. Of course, when it gets that bad, I try not to ride because dirt and all kinds of crap gets inside the uh, the intake of the bike and it can possibly get sucked down into the carburetor and into the um, into the cylinders and you don't want anything gritty or grimy going into the cylinders because that'll just add wear to the cylinder walls, thus decreasing your your combustion and your life of the engine. So even though there's an air filter on here, I try not to ride when it's really dusty. Okay. Okay, lane change, clear. Okay, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Okay, I'm going to turn in here. Downshift. Yeah, I figured you'd do that, jerk. From Colorado. Cruising in the parking lot on the Ninja. Holy hum. And we're almost to Pet Smart or Petco, whatever you call it. And I'm going to do a short video blog or vlog or whatever you want to call it about getting some goldfish they always ask what are you feeding and I go other fish <laughs> and when I tell them I have saltwater lionfish they they freak out and go oh, not too many people have saltwater tanks here in Texas
and we're just about there. Hello. Okay, I'm gonna park right here. And there we go, I'll be back.